Hi everyone, how are you today? Back again with me, Princess Tacha, with a new video. Let's find out today, what do people see when they look into your eyes? Alright, in front of you, there are three pictures. Pick the first picture that comes into your mind. Please don't pick based on the eye color because everyone can have different eye colors. But please pick based on the eye expression, okay? Just pick the first picture that comes into your mind. Please remember, you are welcome to pick other group for additional messages. I'll see you on your reading. Hi, group number one. Back again with me, Princess Tacha, with a new video. Let's find out today what do people see when they look into your eyes. You know, um, they say that the eyes is the window to the soul. And what the people can see when they look into your eyes, sometimes changing depend on your vibes, your mood, or um, the situation uh, surrounding you that time. And uh, let's start this reading with long distance viewing or remote viewing based on the timestamps that you pick today. Since you're picking group number one, um, this is the remote viewing, okay? Through your eyes, people see that you are someone with great love and desire okay you look very romantic in your eyes um, because maybe the way you look at uh, people is um, you are friendly or you smile at them often and you're someone that make people feel want to get closer to you you know um, you're not afraid in the face of intimacy that's what people see when they look into your eyes People also see when they look into your eyes that you have this, the eyes of someone that full of devotion, you know, a fully devoted person. Your eyes telling me that people see you're someone that is uh, devoted, you know, um, you're devoted to your partner, to your loved ones, to your family. That's what uh, people see when they look into your eyes. Now, there is this so many things that people want to say to you. They just don't know how to tell you because people see when they look into your eyes is they afraid to disappoint you, okay? Because your eyes is like so innocent there's this like childlike eyes about you that people just don't want to hurt you you know um unconsciously that's unconsciously unconsciously they truly see the eyes of the child inside of your eyes you know like there's this youthful energy about you innocent you know it seems like people don't want to hurt your feelings or just don't want to harm you that's what i see right now because you're picking group number one okay let's go ahead to, uh, to go to your cards you have here the judge okay with the judge you know uh the card of the judge has an incredibly important job some of you probably truly study law politics social justice criminal justice, something like that, or, or already work as a lawyer, as a judge, work in politics, in human resource, or, uh, or work as a social worker, or criminal justice, you know, or you really care. You really care about social cause. So people truly see when they look into your eyes, is the eyes of the judge, the eyes of the advocate, the eyes of someone that gonna defend other people's rights, the eyes of an activist, someone that is so active in social cause. You really care about social cause in general, okay? You really care about equality. You really care about tolerance. You really care about diversity. That's what people see when they look into your eyes. Now, the judge has an incredibly important job. You know, they work every waking hour of every day, helping us discern what is safe, true, and just. When this card appears and it remains unconscious, you know, 
the wise discernment turns into painful judgment so people truly see when they look into your eyes that they you use to have people judge you you know you got the eyes of someone that you're not dominating at all even though you got the card of the judge you're not dominating at all no dominant energy from your eyes that's what people see when they look into your eyes um and also this is about you really believe in taking action even though you're not dominant but whenever you feel that your rights being uh pushed or uh, people treating you unfair or there is this injustice then you are being called to take action you're being called to stand up for people you're being called to defend people that's what people see when they look into your eyes okay um, and also there's this energy about you that the judge may be found advocating for civil rights causes, standing up for the underdog, providing resources for those in need, and forgiving again and again. So people truly see when they look into your eyes someone that have these eyes of uh, a peaceful eyes in the sense that you forgive people again and again. You know, yes, you remember the action, you remember those moments, but you take uh, active action to just want to forgive that and move on. You know, that's what people see when they look into your eyes. I also see here with this card that um, you're someone that truly going to stand up for the underdog. So I truly see this is someone that not going to let their friends alone, cry alone. You really care about your friends group. You really care about... Uh, the collective in general you know you're not just really care about one group but you really care if other people are alone you really want to know how they're doing you know uh you're uh, you're you're speaking through them you make them feel very comfortable you know you're not judging at all even though you cut uh, the card of the judge that's the funny thing because the judge truly has an important role in this lifetime you know regardless of your profession you have this ability to provide resources for those in need you know and also for giving again and again and um standing up for the underdog so that's like your main role people truly can see that just by looking into your eyes now with this card also um when you decide that you love someone, love is deciding factor. Whether you love this person or not as a friend, as a family, or as a spouse or romantic interest. Now, once you decided that you love this person, you're willing to forgive them again and again, giving them the helping hand, you know, um, and supporting them along the way. I also see this that, um, you know, sometimes it is essential that you uh, take time for yourself especially in the complex times because i truly see that your mind is so active and people truly can see that you're someone with an active mind you're smart uh, and that's why it is important to take time to relax and rest because you use your minds a lot especially sometimes you can be overthinking so people see when they look into your eyes someone with with a great mind a great thinker okay and also someone with a great critical minds someone that is also know how to take critics and not taking it into hearts a diplomat okay you really know how to negotiate your position you really know how to give something benefit to you but also benefit for the collective okay you will not let other people walk all over you but at the same time you want to keep the peace and harmony okay so i truly see someone that um approach all the drama all the problems from the diplomat side from being uh you know from being uh, a peaceful person okay group number one is so beautiful let's find out more you have pluto transform yes you're not like this in the past so it's it it is absolutely probably true that it's changing the way people see you through your eyes. It's changing. You have the new version of you that, you know, that rays out of the darkness. And you have kind of like transformation because Pluto is transformation. So it means that people used not to see you as the judge. People used not to see you with the judge qualities, you know. Probably some of you truly got this glow up or people truly changed their perspective to you. You know, they used to underestimate you or just 
think that you're not important maybe in school you used to get bullied uh, but now you stand up for the for the for the victim you know you stand up for the underdog you really care about bullying issue okay you become this uh, agent of uh, advocate for the bullying you know what i mean so you really care about the victim of the bullying something like that um i can truly relate with this group you know you're being called you know to defend people you're being called to learn about people's rights and your rights you know there is this very strong energy about you that you know you're pretty fair i have to say that you treat other people fair you really don't want to you know spread toxic whenever you don't feel good you know you just keep it to yourself and not just you know not just raining on other people parade you know what i mean like people have their own stage and you're not trying to ruin it uh you know blackmail it mocking it no not at all you really are so appreciative you have earth with this card people truly see when they look into your eyes you're someone that is persistent you know it seems like some of you truly have a higher degree um going to school or even have education if not you are someone that believe in the beauty of your dreams so you're willing to work hard work second and third jobs you know very persistent to get where you are right now to have your dreams come true to even have a better life people truly can see that from you some of you truly have probably earth sign in your birth chart um capricorn virgo taurus if you don't have that that's okay guys uh, you don't have to worry about that but people truly see that you're such a patient person by looking into your eyes okay it's just someone that is patient someone that is calm someone that is uh, very persistent too but also sensual so your eyes is so sensual so you have the type of eyes that people like in the sense that it is calm sensual you know you don't have like brave loud or big eyes something like that but even though your eyes big there's this sensuality about it okay very sensual that's what i see uh from your group you have the sun beautiful you have ace of pentacles and you have knight of pentacles you have also death this is synchronicity and you have a nine of cups okay group number one let me tell you something the death is about you reborn this is about you having new look having new perspective so people truly see that you're changing now this is probably applied to people that knew you in the past like your childhood friends uh, high school friends or elementary school friend or just people that you hang out in the past you know they truly see that you've been through something that changed your look change your point of view change your perspective and change your approach to life when the death card coming in conjunction with a pluto this is synchronicities to tell us that people truly see that yourself uh, have this ability to transform your own look by looking into your eyes you know your eyes have been through a lot death something that meant to break you but it doesn't break you it instead making you have this rebirth moment aka transformation now when we're talking about transformation each one of us gonna have different transformation even though all of you pick group number one now for some of you you have transformation in the way you feel about something because it's touching the heart in the past you felt something was okay 
you know, the way people treated other people or treated you was okay. But now, you really know how to stand up and be the judge of your own life. You really know how to stand up for the underdog, and the underdog is you. So with this death and Pluto coming in conjunction, uh, people truly see that now you realized that it was not okay. What happened in the past was not okay. You know, you still accepted it. You still accept it because it's already happened. What you're going to do, right? I mean, you think that it's okay happened to you, but it was not okay. You know, why there is this paradox? Why there is this... Um, a position of saying okay and not okay what you mean by okay is um, um you have peace with that thing that already happened in your life but it's still not okay you know it was still not okay because you deserve to have peaceful life that's what you want to create in the world that's what you want to contribute to the world you becoming someone that helping other people realize that um, bullying, mocking other people, this is just example, okay, uh, was not right. You know, something like that was not right. So you truly inspire people around you or this even can be reflected from the way you treated other people now. Okay, that's what I see here from your group. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, people truly see by looking into your eyes that you are someone that is going to nurture your effort, dreams, and desire. You're willing to start from zero. Ace of Pentacles is the beginning. The energy is the beginning. I truly feel that for some of you, you look very gorgeous. Look at her. Okay, you look very beautiful. You look very handsome. You really know how to dress up. You really know how to bring all the attention to you because you got also the sun card. But with this card, what I'm trying to say is um, you're willing to start something and doing it, following it up. You know, not just leaving it behind, starting it and doing it yourself. Knight of Pentacles, you're such an ambitious person. So people truly see when they look into your eyes, you're such an ambitious person. Now, it is confirmed because you got Earth sign, especially probably some of you have Capricorn in your birth uh, chart. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles and S of Pentacles, I truly feel this is very strong Earth energy. If you don't have uh, that Earth sign in your birth chart, uh, you don't have to worry about that, okay? It's just you got that influence from the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in uh, the way you behave or your vibes. So people truly can get that from your eyes right now, okay? Currently. So the energy can changing depending on your vibes, your surrounding, and the situation uh, around you this time, okay? Group number one. At this time, you're so attracted to the energy of group number one. With the sun here, I truly feel that people see that you are the one that deserve to shine you have great talent great skills you are such a hard-working person or someone that is willing to do the job to do the work not just uh, having the stage of your life but you're willing to do the homework you know like taking care of yourself leveling up if you don't want to level up it's okay okay you don't have to worry about that but if you want to level up that's also one of the reason why you have that sun capability why you have this strong energy to capture people attention they're gonna come back for more to be your friends to be your co-workers to be your colleagues something like that okay you help people realize their own talent and skills that the sun people truly see when they look into your eyes that you're someone that deserve to shine that you are someone that has this sun personality very shining with your talent and skills with the Nine of Cups, though, group number one, I truly feel that people see when they look into your eyes that you're happy, that you are grateful, that you live in abundance, that you truly got some of your dreams come true or about to have your dreams come true or willing to do the work that need to be done to make your dreams come true or just to make your goals come true or get the goals, get the job done or even as simple as uh, do nothing but you are perform really well in the office or even just finish your homework, you know, finish your job, something like that. Okay, you're someone that is accomplished. You're someone that 
that look very sophisticated, look very elegant. Look at this. You're gorgeous, you know. I feel that you probably smell so good. You use perfume for some of you or just use makeup really well. People like that. People adore that. And they truly see when they look into your eyes that you're someone that really care also about your appearance, okay? If you don't care about your appearance, you don't have to worry about this thing. <laughs> Oops, thank you. You have here a strength. People see when they look into your eyes that you are such a strong person. Especially when the card of strength coming in conjunction with the sun and the judge. You are someone with a very strong personality. Um, and also you are someone that... that, that that has this ability uh, to survive in the middle of hardship or overcome challenges okay group number one that's really good for you you have here connection people see when they look into your eyes you are someone that willing to create connection there is these eyes of people inside of you that you really want to be part of the group be part of the team bigger than yourself you're someone that is willing to create connection even though it's online or even in physical life you're someone that truly open to new connection people truly see uh, from you the eyes of someone that really good in networking to or someone that just want to create a new friendship and new connection group number one that show reading for today if you want private reading click the link in the description box below you can book me for private reading check out other group for additional messages or check out my playlist i have so many pick a card reading for you all my readings are timeless that you will absolutely love it thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye Hi group number two, welcome back to my channel. Back again with me, Princess Tasha, with a new video. Let's find out today, what do people see when they look into your eyes? You know, uh, something that people can see by looking through your eyes, always changing and sometimes changing. It depends on your vibes, your mood, or the situation around you, or even your surrounding. So let's find out today, uh, what do people actually see when they look into your eyes, okay? Um, let's start this reading with uh, long distance viewing or remote viewing based on the timestamps that you pick today. Um, since you're picking group number two, there's a reason why you're picking group number three, number two, okay? Uh, with this group, you have this eyes that is radiant, okay? Um, your eyes truly like a star born. So people truly see a star born when they look into your eyes. You're someone with a great creativity, very creative eyes, someone that is talented, and it's just something about you that look very ambitious, okay? If you don't feel that way, if you don't feel that you are ambitious, don't worry, don't have to worry about that because this reading is about what do people see when they look into your eyes. Mm. Now, um, another thing that people see by looking into your eyes is the deep and challenging energy of your soul, you know. Uh, you're someone that easily connected with the energy of collective. You are someone that uh, people can truly see whether you are having a good time or not by just looking into your eyes. It can already be seen from your facial expression, you know. So you're someone that can truly give uh, or express yourself freely and openly and people just going to know about that by just looking into your eyes. All right, now let's check out the cards in front of us, okay? You have the cave. Very interesting. You know, with the cave here, people see, when they look into your eyes, they see someone that really good in the dark, really feel comfortable being in the dark, not feeling panic, not feeling worry. 
whenever life gives you a little bit of darkness you know those who are fortunate enough to find and enter the cave are forever changed this is you you know the cave is the place of potent power acting both as portal to another realm and a space for sacred ritual and initiation so people see that you are someone um, that is powerful there is this power about you related to spirituality related to sacred ritual related to the the spiritual realm okay some of you truly are so religious so people truly can see when they look into your eyes that you are someone that is religious you have some sort of religion that you follow or you are someone that is so spiritual okay you probably believe in reincarnation for some of you or you just have some sort of spiritual practices ritual that you follow and people kind of feel your mystic energy or your connection with the spiritual world okay with the spiritual realm with the esoteric now in esoteric teachings the cave is known to reside in the center of the heart okay within its walls the whispers of compassion and self-understanding can be heard so people truly see by looking into your eyes that you are someone that full of understanding you're not demanding at all you understand people easily you easily understand people and people feel understood you know by looking into your eyes um, and also this is about you having an eye of compassion you know so your eyes look like someone that is compassionate you know with your eyes and also this is about the cave is a mystery you know mystery and power combining into one many us fear the cave and never try to find it so people see when they look into your eyes there's this combination of mystery and power sometimes people feel a little bit afraid looking into your eyes maybe you see that people try not to make an eye contact with you especially when you talk in the meeting like when you try to get to the point when you try to ask this person what they're talking or try to get the truth to seek the truth and asking this person this person feel a little bit afraid of you you know uh, or just don't want to make an eye contact with you because you have that the cave eyes you have that deep penetrating eyes the eyes that can truly see the other realm the eyes that truly can feel what other people feel the eyes that truly can feel the deepest darkest soul of someone and their intention your intuition is so high so people sometimes doesn't want to make an eye contact with you especially when they're not in a in a beneficial position or when Whenever they're being forced to tell the truth to you they feel a little bit awkward to see your eyes because your eyes can truly penetrate their soul okay group number uh two that's what i see here from your group but other than that i feel that also you feel very comfortable in your own company you don't have to always hang out in a big group you can always hang out with just one-on-one -on -one friendship or one-on-one -on -one connection i truly feel this with this group okay but you truly are someone uh, with a great mind too with a very strong mind a very strong will power too so whenever you put your eyes into something you put your mind into something you're gonna get it you're gonna do it it depends whether you want it or not group number two let's find out more here you have sagittarius people see what people see when they look into your eyes is your optimism they can truly see people can truly see your motivation your desire to um to have a better life to enjoy your life you know sagittarius is about optimism exploration and freedom now i have to say this here you are freedom lover, freedom seeker, someone that cannot be put into the box. People sometimes try to control you, but you are uncontrollable. You cannot be controlled. That's what it is. People see that this is the eyes of a rebel, rebellion, a rebel eyes, okay? Someone that cannot be controlled. Someone that really know how to behave, but they really want their freedom as an exchange. You really know how to work in a group but at the same time you don't want to be controlled too much you love to explore 
your surrounding, you love visiting new restaurant, you love visiting new coffee shop, you love trying new things, you're someone with a great optimism, positive thinking, okay? If you don't have Sagittarius, you don't have to worry about that. But at this time, you're attracted to the energy of group number two and your eyes is truly such... Uh, an adventurous eyes you have that you know you probably love also nature with the cave you love traveling you love going to the beach to the mountain you love to explore somewhere new or even just being in nature okay just by walking on the ba with barefoot on the grass that already recharge your energy that's what i see from this group and also i truly see that people see um, someone that is so curious. So your eyes is full of curiosity. That's what I feel here. Aries, again, fire energy, okay? Um, I truly feel that regardless whether you have Aries or not in your birth chart, people see an independent person, an independent personality in the sense that you you have this ability to think for yourself. You don't have to follow other people. You're not a follower, but you also not necessarily a leader right away. But you are someone that respect your freedom, respect other people's freedom, and you just want to be independent. You don't want to rely on other people for small things. You're also someone that is brave. People truly can see the eyes of a courageous person, you know, and also someone that full of passion so this is there's this fiery eyes full of excitement that's what your eyes uh, that's what people see when they look into your eyes group number two and uh, the interesting about it is um you're not covering it up you're not pretentious and you just be yourself so you truly have this influence of independent person a bravery and a passionate that arias bring into this reading Okay, regardless whether you have Sagittarius or Aries or not in your birth chart. There is a reason why you're attracted to the energy of group number two. That's what I feel here uh, for your group, okay? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor, I feel like it wants to come out, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, mm -hmm. Four of Wands, yes, it is, is again fiery energy, excitement, passion. Maybe you also have Leo in your birth chart. That's possible. You know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your birth chart. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel that some of you truly also have Earth sign in your birth chart. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Doesn't have to be that way, guys. If you don't have that, don't worry. Uh, there's a reason you're attracted to the energy of group number two and you got the influence of the Queen of Pentacles. With this card, I have to tell you that people truly see someone that is fashionable. Someone that look really good. You look really good. You look really on a point. You really know how to um clean up really well okay you really know how to deliver your message deliver your product you're someone that look very elegant you know you look very lush uh, you're someone that live in abundant for some of you you look very expensive or look very sophisticated even though you don't use any brand at all uh, maybe you have a really healthy skin too, healthy hair. Queen of Pentacles is someone that truly are lush. Uh, it means that, you know, you're just uh, with healthy mindset. Someone that is so excited and very ambitious. You look uh, very sensual. So that's what people see when they look into your eyes now when the queen of pentacles coming in conjunction with the cave telling me that you need some time to be alone you need some time to be in the cave to go to the cave to find inspiration to be inspired to study to learn to gain more knowledge and then you come out of the cave but by the time you come out of the cave you becoming this queen of pentacles you look very gorgeous group number two 
uh, it seems like you don't love going out of the house that much but once you go out you go out to the beach you go out for vacation you look very adorable you dress head to toe you look very um fantastic okay look very beautiful look very gorgeous that's what i'm trying to say like you need some time also to recharge yourself by being yourself doesn't make you necessarily an introvert some of you you can be an introvert but some of you truly an extrovert or an ambivert you just need time to recharge to sleep okay doesn't make you necessarily to be an introvert too you know because ambivert need also time alone and need time also to surround themselves with big energy with a lot of people regardless whether it's online or even in a physical life now with the emperor here coming in conjunction with Aries, this is synchronicities yes you know there's this confident about you people can truly see your confident coming from your eyes you believe in yourself you believe in your mission you believe that you can lead other people so this is also uh, the great card of great leadership you have that leadership skill regardless whether you have leadership position or not right now in your organization it doesn't matter it's still creating uh, it's still uh, you know people can truly see that you are someone with a great will of power you're gonna direct your group you're gonna lead or influence people to be more independent to have courageous heart and to follow their own goals okay so that's what i see with this emperor but also with the emperor with a crown here you look very royal and regal some of you probably also have leo in your birth chart with this one's energy now with the five of ones here coming also with the four of ones what i'm trying to say here people see that you are someone with great stability you're someone that create this abundance for your yourself or inviting attracting people that really want to pamper you maybe you have a very generous spouse i can truly relate with this group anyway okay with this fire energy but group number two i have to say that people actually feel a little bit jealous about that they truly can see that your life is better that your life is good or you feel very grateful about your life so people can truly feel that can truly see that from your eyes that your eyes is full of gratitude because you make a progress because you realize that the universe helps you a lot okay and you got lucky break here and there people see uh, you're such a lucky person from your eyes and people feel a little bit jealous and this is the card about competition so people see a great competitor with your eyes you know by looking to your eyes this is not someone that just gonna be the average people not at all okay you meant to shine as the queen of pentacles and very strong with the emperor so when the five of wands coming here it is funny because people see someone that truly gonna play the game Game. you're gonna play the game you're not gonna give up you're not gonna stop trying you just, you got, you're just gonna keep trying even though you failed but this competition truly a healthy competition one in the sense that you're not compete with other people but sometimes people feel a little bit competition with you which is normal they're just gonna compare that's all coming from comparison so with the five of ones here people truly see uh that they can compare their life with you you know with the five of ones now with the ace of ones ace of ones is the beginning of uh feeling you know it's the growing growing of knowledge so people see uh, when they look into your eyes is you're someone that is so excited to learn something new or someone new you're so excited to deepen your knowledge and to grow something becoming uh, big you know you grow your knowledge you grow your investment you grow your business you grow your side hustle and you grow your experiences so you're someone that truly appreciate your own growth you don't have to be validated about by a partner by a spouse but you also can grow it yourself you have that effort you know so you're not someone that just receiving receiving but you also give you also grow you plant you grow you plant the seeds you grow the flower you know people truly see by looking into your eyes that you are someone that um a keeper okay a keeper you're such a keeper good things to come yes people see that you're someone with great potential or just someone that is so blessed someone that can attract law of attraction attract abundance so there are so many amazing gifts coming your way group number two people can see that even though you cannot see that sometimes people cannot see it but they feel it they can see from your eyes that you're someone that will have bigger things to come in your life okay you have that because you have that attitude of uh, uh, gratitude okay regardless whether you have sagittarius aries or leo or other earth or 
fire sign in your birth chart you know good things to come to you good things come to you it's just now being wrapped prepared by the universe and whenever we're talking about the universe sending gift or god sending gift to you it gonna takes time right because it's a special gift just for you because and it's going to be different for each one of us depends on our needs so it is important to always say something positive about ourselves uh, and then we can attract positive things in our life group number two okay You have self-love. Group number two, I openly embrace a feeling of self-love. Now, people truly see that you are someone that really know how to love yourself. You inspire people to also love themselves, to treat themselves better. You treat yourself better. Compare yourself in the past, okay? It's so much different you are now than you were in the past. In the past, you're probably not prioritizing yourself, but now you want to love yourself first. So you love yourself because you understand uh, that you need to commit it. You need to commit yourself uh, to your own happiness the most, okay? If you're not making yourself happy, if you're not loving yourself, then who gonna love you? Because self-love is the first thing before you can love other people. Okay, because when you can love yourself and you take time to be in the cave, you coming stronger, you coming feel refreshed and have new ideas to share with the world, with your creation, uh, with your project, with your online content, with your work, with your service to other people, regardless of your job. But I truly see and feel that you're someone that always give good services, always give good product and full of life, someone that is full of life. And people can truly see life itself by looking into your eyes. Group number two, this reading is pretty general reading. If you want personal or private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below you can book me for your private reading uh, thanks for watching group number two please give me thumbs up if you love this content please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me thanks for watching check out other group if you want for additional messages or check out my playlist i have so many pick a card reading videos that you will absolutely love it thanks for watching group number two and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye Hi everyone, back again with me, Princess Tacha, with a new video. Let's find out today, what do people see when they look into your eyes, you know? Um, something that people can see through your eyes can change sometimes uh, due to your mood. It depends on your vibes, your mood, or even your surrounding or uh, something around you, okay? So let's find out today uh, what do people see when they look into your eyes. Let's start this reading group number three with remote viewing or long distance viewing based on the energy uh, that you pick. Since you're picking the energy of group number three, um, I feel that people can see from your eyes that you have the soul of the hunter. Your eyes, regardless of uh, what color it is, you know, you have the hunter eyes, you know. The hunter is someone that is precise. They are on a precise mission. So people truly see that you are on a precise mission, that you need target to aim, you know, you need to uh, achieve that target and to return home empty-handed would be to fail which is not an option in the hunter's eyes now with this uh, eye you know people truly can see the journey that you have inside yourself and how you truly go far and wide in your life okay people can truly see from your eyes that you are someone with great courage. When we're talking about courage, this is someone that truly gonna go extra mile, taking risk, okay? So that's also what people see when they look into your eyes. Now with this uh, type of group, okay, group number three, tales of bravery and feats of strength often result creating the life full of adventure so people see that you're such an adventurous person just by looking from your eyes maybe you're always excited to uh, your next trip 
you know you're always excited about your next vacation holiday or a group trip or you just love exploring your surrounding you really love being in the nature you know something like that now let's go ahead to the cards in front of us group number three you have here the mountain you know when we look uh on this picture of the mountain this card we see there's man here standing in the middle of the mountain okay with the mountain card here the mountain stands eternally in our awareness calling us toward its peak so people truly see that you are someone with full of awareness full of consciousness okay you really are in touch with your consciousness and also it stirs up stoic and regal feelings there's this regal vibes about your regal feelings you look very regal look very majestic okay there's this like majestic vibes coming from your eyes that's what people see when they look into your eyes now with this mountain card also group number three um it remind uh it reminds people to the long line of spirits sages sadhus and gods that made their humble thrones within its snowy peaks in the mountain beware though as the mountain can affect us in two ways. So people feel that your eyes can truly affect people in two ways. Now, the first thing is um, it can inspire people, you know, to rise to new possibilities to reach the impossible. Okay, so that's the first effect that you have on people just by people looking into your eyes. And the second one, it also can create some sort of isolation. So your eyes can isolate people, your eyes can intimidate people. So one, one of the things that people truly feel and see by looking to your eyes is how your eyes give you some sort of inspiration for people to also reach their target. But at the same time, you know, sometimes your eyes can give effect of intimidation. That's the mountain. The mountain, based on the book, okay, of this card, the mountain can have two effects on people. And people see that your eyes can be a little bit intimidating at times. Okay, group number three. Now, you also look very competitive. You know, when people try to hike the mountain, climbing, you know, there's compete with themselves compete with the feeling of lack you know and your eyes people can truly see some sort of competition in your eyes that you want to win the game that you want to be the winner in your life that you want to reach the victory you have the eye of the victory okay so that's like very clear here with this group with the mountain card now regardless whether you love the nature or you love hiking you love climbing to the mountain or not you have that personality if you want to believe it or not you know regardless whether you want to believe it or not you are the mountain your eyes have this personality of the mountain group number three let's find out more here Saturn, yes, you know, whenever we climb the mountain, we need to be disciplined, we need to be conscious, you know, we need to aware of our limitation, we need to uh, really are so strict also with our attitude. So with the Saturn card, people can truly see that you are someone uh, that is uh, disciplined, someone that hardworking, someone that will rise and survive in the struggle, someone that has a lot of experiences and someone that sometimes feel a little bit restricted with the situation but it doesn't stop you from reaching your mountain from coming uh to the top climbing to the top of your mountain group number three each one of us have our own different mountains depends on our preferences our skills talent and our fields but for you group number three regardless of your profession you really want to be on top you really want to be successful now i truly see with this group you have a main job probably nine to five but also side hustle but also investment but also maybe online content okay but also let's say 
TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, something that you can use to inspire people. You know, but you have your main job too. You have a profession too for some of you, or you have two or three jobs just to survive, just to also uh, have a better life, have a very comfortable life. You know, you're willing to do that kind of stuff. That's only Saturn people that are willing to do that. Some of you probably truly are uh, Capricorn in your birth chart, or your Saturn is in Capricorn, or even um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Okay. You have Venus, group number three. People see that you have these Venusian vibes, very lovely vibes uh, by them looking into your eyes. You know, you have this giving, very giving person. And you probably love wearing pearl for some of you, you know, as jewelry, as um, daily you wear pearl for uh, earrings, necklace or rings or just jewelry. You love also giving to other people. Your energy is about giving and receiving love. You are someone that uh, truly lovely. It's just your eyes is truly beautiful, regardless whether you realize it or not. People see that your eyes is beautiful, group number three. Okay, I can truly relate with this Venusian energy and the card of a mountain here. Uh, if I have to pick group three, going to be also my group. Now, with this card, though, you have a value. You have value and your value is so beautiful it's just the way you appreciate beauty around you is just something that is just so rare you know you always want to see the positive or beautiful things in something or someone so i truly see this is about someone that sure of themselves have the confidence to reach the top of the mountain and finally eventually you get it you reach it because you're so positive and with this venusian though probably your venus is in capricorn because saturn is in also a rule of the capricorn i think your venus even though venus is being ruled by taurus but your venus i think is probably for some of you you don't have to be this way some of you venus is in capricorn or your venus find your venus and saturn and uh, find out because that's what people see by looking to your eyes. You know, how you behave according to your Venus. Let's say your Venus probably in Capricorn. So you like loving doing something with action. You love showing your love through action. Or probably your Venus is in Leo. Then you love a declaration of love. You love big, beautiful things, you know, something like that. Um, or your Saturn is in conjunction with Venus, meaning that your Saturn is in one sign or Venus or even in trine or in um, one house. Okay, that's also possible. But for some of you, I think I truly see the conjunction of Saturn and Venus in Capricorn. I have to say that because mountain also earth energy. Okay, you, if you don't have that, you don't have to worry about that, guys. Okay, it's just uh, you got that influence of the Venus and Saturn in your birth chart. So find out what is your Venus, what is your Saturn. That's how people see. That's what people see uh, about you when they look into your eyes. You have Eight of Cups. You have Devil. Okay, Capricorn. I'm telling you. Queen of Cups. King of Pentacles. Yes, Regal vibes. The Mountain, Regal, Royal. Ten of Wands. Yes, this is all big energy here. Okay, you have big energy. So people truly see your big energy by just looking to your eyes, you know. Maybe you also have got your eyelash done for some of you. Or you just have a big, beautiful eyes. Or just have these eyes with shine so bright. You know, your eyes is beautiful. Uh, regardless of the color of your eyes, it's just so beautiful. You have that expression of your eyes. People can truly see whenever you are in the mood. Or whenever you are happy. Whenever you are excited from your eyes now talking about the devil <laughs> okay the devil is the capricorn again this is capricorn energy when the devil coming in conjunction with the saturn here group number three you have big 
effect on people. People truly see you have big personality. People truly see that you can be the star and stand out in a crowd, especially the devil here wearing very beautiful mushroom dress red color you know you have very strong personality you have strong energy people can sense your presence whenever you come into the room or you use a very good smell perfume you smell really good you also dress really nice or very sexy you have that sexy about you that is just um harmless you know but people sometimes misunderstood or me, uh, take you for granted or even underestimate you but then they surprised when they accidentally falling in love with you due to your beauty uh, your sexiness and your mysteriousness okay there's this something about the card of the devil and saturn together this is capricorn this is capricorn also saturn is the ruler of capricorn and devil is the card of capricorn so i can truly see how you are so capricorn you have capricorn in your birth chart for some of you this is probably very strong your sun saturn and venus in Capricorn for some of you or your Saturn is in Capricorn or your North Node is in Capricorn or you just got that influence very strong of a Capricornian regardless whether you have Capricorn or not in your birth chart. What I'm trying to say here group number three people truly see that you have the power someone that has this silent power to seduce people with your beauty to seduce people with your look with your temptation to te to give temptation to people you know people really allure to your your energy you can lure people to your vibes because of this capricornian okay it's just something about you uh you don't even deny it that you have that power special power that can truly give people uh something to talk about okay you are the talk of the town and you like it you don't mind about it you know people opposite sex or same sex depends on your romantic preferences they adore you they love you they even fantasize about you because you got the card of the devil you can truly give temptation to people regardless of their status it doesn't matter they probably already married they already in a relationship it doesn't matter and also it doesn't matter your status sometimes you already in in a committed relationship it doesn't matter you can still give temptation people can still love you adore you for who you are for your body for your uh vibes for your aura because you have this very strong confident uh, devil sexy vibes energy that coming out of you that's just by looking from your eyes okay that's like people kind of get that feeling you know very strong uh devil temptation uh, saturn capricorn Venus especially, okay, and I truly feel, I kind of got the feeling that you have, some of you, not all of you, Sun, Saturn, Venus is in Capricorn. Or at least your Saturn is in Capricorn for some of you. If you don't have that, that's okay. Now, we're talking about the Eight of Cups here, okay? The Eight of Cups, you realize that you have beautiful things to offer to people so people see when you they look into your eyes you're someone that's not gonna waste other people's time if people decide that they don't want to be with you or they don't want to sit with you on the same table you're gonna leave you're gonna leave eight of cups you're gonna leave them behind but at the same time they actually pay attention to you they all actually gather around you they want your attention they love you they adore you for it they want more of it group number uh, three that's what i see here from your group now with the king of pentacles coming in conjunction with the devil you truly are so gorgeous luxurious you look very sophisticated this is undeniable and king of pentacles has this regal vibes now i talk about this in the mountain and that's uh according to the book that i have with this card you know talking about the mountain card there's these regal feelings about you you know very majestic very regal so when we're talking about the king of pentacles this is single is telling me that your eyes truly can see the beauty the good quality the expensive things you know you have a good taste you know it and you have it and people can truly see that you have good taste by them looking to your eyes and maybe also it accompanied with your style with your fashion style the way you dress your accessories or just the way you talk your background your education or your determination to achieve success regardless maybe you are from zero uh, you grow up with nothing you grow up poor but now your life is getting better so with this card people can truly see some of you have a story from rags to riches from zero to hero from a pauper to princess you know something like that or from being an average person to 
the queen you know that kind of vibes truly i truly see feel and see from this card that you have the queen of cups too coming in conjunction with the king of pentacles telling me that group number three you have also a very tender heart this is uh telling me that you have this uh, connection with your emotion you're such an emotional person in a good way means that you're okay being vulnerable to people and let other people know your feelings you're someone that really are so good in understanding other people feeling or in psychology some of you really love astrology or tarot that's why you're probably in this video thank you so much but um, with the ten of wands you know this is about you becoming the center of attention you have a lot of feelings you know that you want to share to people and in return people have a lot of flowers to give to you a lot of adoration a lot of admiration so you're someone that steal the show so people see when they look into your eyes is your ability to steal the show steal the attention and just get the attention get the adoration from people uh, regardless whether it's online or even in physical life regardless of your profession maybe you have a profession that requires you to speak in public or even your online platform or even just in your neighborhood or among your people with your loved ones with your spouse you have this rare ability to give temptation to your spouse to make them crazy in love with you maybe you already married but your spouse still adore you still love you because you have this devil vibes okay you're like the coach of playing the sexy games here group number three wow it's very powerful reading i think You have inspiration. There is a voice of inspiration within me. Right now, it's only a whisper. But the more I listen, the louder it will get. Soon it will be a flawless speech voiced by James Earl Jones through a megaphone with lots of applause exactly when the inspiration card coming in conjunction with the ten of ones that i discussed to you earlier you have a creative unique ideas that whenever you put that into action or product or a project or even content or even you give it to people or perform it okay or create it for people to see or it's related to your job or your hobby you can truly give other people inspiration entertain them and in return they applause okay they're really appreciated you got lots of applause here okay you are the source of inspiration here group number three i truly feel that you're such a talented person regardless if you realize it or not but it is important that's why to level up or to um brushing up your skill or even to train your skill or talent you know so it will not be gone that's why i i'd rather go to the leveling up path than not leveling up at all but if you don't want to level up it's okay you don't have to worry about that group number three I can truly relate with this group though. This is like my card. Manifestation. Wow. Yes. If you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. You are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. So that's the thing about your eyes though. Your eyes is so magnetic. You understand the law of attraction. You understand the power of speaking positive to yourself. If you don't, you don't have to worry about it again okay this is just for people that truly want to manifest great things in their life and you got the card of manifestation this is the sign from the universe take this as a sign this is letting me know that people see you are the manifester by just looking into your eyes what is the sign of manifester they want to have a better life they want to reach their target they want to be happy in this lifetime they want to achieve great things if they don't want to achieve great things and they don't want uh, and they don't want to do anything but they want to be happy yes they're still a manifester yes you're still a manifester of what you want to manifest a happy life by doing nothing okay by just relaxing you want to achieve that level of uh, having this um you know financial freedom so you can create uh, some free time for yourself and manifest abundance in your life that's possible you know manifest investment manifest second job and other things but you are truly a manifester so stop waiting and start manifesting but don't use that word if you don't want to manifest 
Okay, group number three. Group, group number three, this reading is pretty general reading. If you want private reading or personal reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below. You can book me for your private personal reading. Uh, thanks for watching group number three. Check out other group if you want for additional messages or check out my playlist. I have so many pick a card reading videos that you will absolutely love it. Thanks for watching group number three and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye! Thank you.